Hi everyone, you're just in time for another great story. Click that subscribe button for more. Peter Rabbit, a present from Mom. One breezy spring morning, Mrs. Rabbit had a wonderful surprise. Happy Mother's Day, shouted Flopsy and Mopsy, eagerly handing her their presents. Mama Day, giggled Cottontail, giving her a card. Mother's Day, said Peter under his breath. Oh no, I forgot. What am I going to do? Peter asked Benjamin and Lily. Maybe there's an idea in your dad's journal, suggested Benjamin. Great plan, said Peter, grabbing the precious notebook. Look! A recipe for Mom's favorite wild strawberry pie. That's the perfect Mother's Day present. The bunnies bounce busily around the kitchen collecting the ingredients. There's just one thing missing, said Lily finally. Strawberries. A good rabbit never gives up, said Peter. Look, there's a map here, too. It shows where to find the biggest and juiciest strawberries ever. Let's hop to it. The map in the journal led them to an enormous patch of scrumptious strawberries. Yippee, shouted Peter and Benjamin, hopping about happily. Hip hip hoo. Shush, whispered Lily urgently. Don't you recognize where we are? We're in Mr. Todd's garden, gasped Benjamin, his ears trembling. But I need those strawberries for Mom's pie, said Peter. I say let's do it, agreed Lily. Quickly, pick as many as you can, said Peter. I'll find something to carry them in. But as Lily and Benjamin stuffed their pockets with juicy strawberries, they heard a sound behind them. Mr. Todd, gasped Benjamin. What have we here, said the fearsome fox, licking his lips. Um, we were just leaving, said Lily bravely. Leaving? said Mr. Todd. Oh no, I insist you stay for dinner. Lily and Benjamin soon learned that Mr. Todd wanted to have them for dinner. How delightful! Two delicious rabbits for my stew, gloated the hungry fox. I just need to check the seasoning. Rosemary, thyme. This is bad. This is very bad, said Benjamin inside Mr. Todd's cooking pot. But suddenly... Don't forget the pepper, shouted Peter, leaping through the open window and knocking over Mr. Todd's stew seasoning. The startled fox was covered in a tickly pepper cloud. Come on, said Peter freeing his friends as Mr. Todd sneezed and spluttered. But when they got to the door, it was blocked. Not so fast, snickered Mr. Todd. Rabbit's not off the menu yet. Try some berries instead, yelled Lily, reaching into her pocket and throwing a handful of strawberries at Mr. Todd. What? Whoa! Oof! yelled the flustered fox slipping on the squishy berries and falling. Crash! Into his own cooking pot. The three bunnies hopped past Mr. Todd, out of the window and away into the woods. You saved us, Peter, gasped Benjamin as they hopped hurriedly home. Throwing the berries was Lily's brilliant idea, Peter replied. But now we don't have any berries for your pie, said Lily sadly. Back at the burrow, Peter explained. I'm sorry, Mom, he told her. I wanted to make you something special. Oh, Peter, said his mother. All a mother needs on Mother's Day is a hug. And I've made something special for you. Wild strawberry pie, cheered Peter. You're the best. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thanks for joining me today. Please like this video 
and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of new books. See you soon!